So, uh, very little talking will be done here. This is how to get the sound of Morbid Angel on uh, the Covenant record. Uh, so, uh, Trey was always using two rats and an EQ in the front, mostly cutting out low end, boosting the mids just a little bit. He was using the clean channel of a JCM 900 or 800. It's the same concept either way. I will show the amp settings on the screen now. Um, I will uh, play the tones without the pedals and then kind of explain as to why things are set the way they are. The uh, clean tone in this case is very, very clean, almost uh, no gain at all. The master is up pretty high. I have a master volume on this amp, so it's not screaming loud, but um, he does turn things up a good bit more than a lot of other metal tones of the time. So the key to the sound is the rat. We'll turn on the first rat, which is a uh, old uh, 90s flat box. Uh, we'll turn that on now. So that's the bass uh, sound that we're looking for. Um, very saturated. It's not a very um, tight distortion. It's very loose in the low end, so the boost is going to help a lot with that, but the um, the second rat before that rat is almost even acting as a boost itself. It's adding a little bit of drive, but not too much. The uh, particular rat here, the Mud Honey, which is a clone of an older rat with some tweaks, has a good bit of a mid boost. So using that and the uh, initial Riff Thrash Chug boost that has a roll off below 250. These EQ settings are basically the same as if we were using an EQ pedal. Um, I think the key here should be that um, getting the tone isn't always a down to the same stuff, just the same ballpark in terms of sound. Uh, so let's continue. I think this sounds pretty close to the recorded album. Um, I will also flash up a picture of the guitar being used. Uh, Trey was always using, I believe, either stock Gibson pickups or uh, lower output uh, DiMarzios. I believe uh, the Tone Pro or whatever it's called. In this case, I'm using a uh, 80s Yamaha SG. It's like a Les Paul style guitar with um, the stock pickups which are a bit hotter than probably uh, Trey would have used but it's um, it's got the uh, older style uh, more Gibson-y sound to these pickups just a little brighter um, so make sure you know some of these EQ adjustments might be a little bit different on your amp so I'll show all the tones again
also worth mentioning, um, I am running through a quad cortex in order to tune this guitar a little bit lower. Uh, it's tuned in uh, dropped D. I tuned it down to the record's tuning, which I believe was dropped B flat. Now, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, works the same. Um, we'll also be cloning these sounds uh, into the quad cortex. And I will make sure that the the download for that is available. I'll put a link in the video. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a couple more of these if people like them. And uh, hope you enjoyed.